good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. Mm, 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 mm. Still basking in the holiday season down here at the farm with my family and ah, oh, just wanting let your mirror neurons pick up the peace, the joy, the connectedness. Mm. And celebrate with me that I remember years ago when even if things were available in the conditions of the moment, I wasn't able to receive them and didn't have access to them. I was in pain, I was in conflict, I was dealing with fight or flight being my dominant state of my nervous system. And that changes, that changes. Brain rewiring works, dosing our brain works. Happy, joyful habits filling our days works, 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 so that I notice more and more joy every day. I cultivate with my microdosing habits deeper and deeper capacity to be present in the moment and lit up, lit up by the color of the leaves and the trees the loping of the dog's legs and that still puppy run, the um, ease in my body, the open heart to others, the humor, oh, the humor, the ability to laugh at myself, laugh at my family, and the being compassionate and okay and not getting stuck in it when, when there's some contrast or some wobble. It's like, oh, well, that's something I'd like to rewire, redirect, you know, shift. Oh, well, maybe I need a moment to have some more time to, to utilize my tools and my habits, um, not just uh, being in the focus of the current condition, you know, kind of engaging in myself, and, mm, oh, feeling that deeper inner truth. All, all on the rise. Mm, and so grateful. Just wanting that to be one of those messages in a bottle back to my former self and hopefully to anyone who's in that rise where you're leaning into faith and hope that things are going to get better and seeing glimmers in your experience or your prefrontal cortex intellectually like picking up what I'm laying down and getting it but not necessarily living it yet I'm sending a message back going oh yeah it's good oh yeah oh yeah and it's all coming it's all coming ah <sighs> So feeling lots of gratitude, gratitude for friends, for family, for myself, and cultivating gratitude. And I'm feeling it, and I'm also cultivating it, pausing to sort of calibrate my thoughts to gratitude, use my habits and my tools so my brain is more dosed so that I am surprised and delighted by how well things go. <laughs> it really, really makes a difference. Mm. So on that note, let's step into our microdosing tool for the day. Today we're gonna to use the whoopsie daisy tool. And if you're feeling a little more stuck as you've turned me on this morning, if things are a little more wobbly, <clears throat> Just try and laugh your way through it, even if you can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm right here with you. I think it was good for a laugh for five minutes. And that's gonna help, whew, whew, help you start to turn the lights on a little bit. All right, 
And um, otherwise, it, you know, maybe you'll find joy and humor in the story. And uh, maybe and my intention is for it to model for you. Have your mirror neurons dialed in to like, oh yeah, funny stuff does happen. Let me be surprised and delighted to find it, you know? <laughs> like I got a great whoopsie daisy from a friend the other day. She sent me a beautiful video of her hot Thanksgiving day prep. It's all, I think it was the day before Thanksgiving day, not Thanksgiving day for me. She was doing some cooking ahead and uh, oh, <laughs> it was so funny because she had things all set out and she shows the timer of the the dish that's cooking on the stove, but then she pans over and the ingredients that go in the dish are all still sitting on the counter. <laughs> it's like, whoopsie daisy. And you know, time right been sitting there cooking, cooking up. Mm. She's like, why doesn't it smell so good yet? Like it's been cooking for 10 minutes. What's going on? And there they were. Oh, <laughs> So, I mean, they're everywhere, these whoopsie daisy stories. And she, she goes in all guns a blazing. I mean, she was still laughing when she was making a little video to share the whoopsie daisy story. So you can find them because it's such a simple thing, right? It's such a simple little wobble, but she cultivated it. She cultivated finding the humor and the silliness in it. The childlike, like, oh, look what happened, you know? <laughs> So, and I have two more that happened to me over the last few days. So we're down here. It's, there's lots of hiking and lots of being out in the woods and being outside. Sometimes it's muddy. So there are all these boots by the door, right? <laughs> well, my dad and I were probably some of the earliest risers. <laughs> the other morning... <laughs> puppy out. I was bringing the puppy in and I was doing this great training. You know, I was very focused on the puppy was sitting as I opened the door. You know how wonderful the puppy is sitting. He's not rushing the door. You know, yeah. And, um, but I'm backing into the room and I step pretty hard on to the toe of my dad's boot. And I'm like, oh, sorry, dad. Sorry, dad. And I turn around, there's nobody there. <laughs> and it takes me like a, a nanosecond. And then I realized his boots were on the floor, right in the path. And I'd stepped on the toe of his boot without him in it. <laughs> so I was apologizing to the ethers, you know? Like, I, really, I was grateful that I hadn't done a big hard stomp on my dad's boot. <laughs> myself <laughs> having a good laugh oh, with the puppy puppy always sort of looks at me like what is she doing and then he gets all excited like oh this feels good <laughs> so, the whoopsie daisy of the invisible man then then took proceed on that invisibility theme last night we were playing roomy cube and the whole family sitting around and we have like a little love seat at, at, there's a table where we play games and stuff. So there are comfortable chairs around it and there's this love seat. And I'm on the love seat, little small sofa with the bouncy seat for my new baby nephew. And so I'm periodically you know, using my hand and bouncing and talking to him and bouncing while we're all playing. And um, he's got a little like black and white mobile he's playing with. He's a very, very happy kid. And we're just contented, we're humming along. And then, you know, it comes to my turn. I'm very focused on, I'm like rearranging the whole board and like doing all this strategy. And, um, and then I reach over and do this again. And um, I'm like, oh, and I glance and then keep going and talking. Um, at some point I realized there is a bag of pretzels in the bouncy seat where my nephew used to be. And I've been mistaking for I don't know how many turns around the table. The pretzels for my nephew. My sister Lloyd gotten him out. 
up very quietly after he had fallen asleep and, you know, whisked him off to go put him in his cradle. He had thanked me for having been sort of engaged with him. And, but I had been preoccupied with chatting with family and the game. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure there was some transition. And then I think it was my brother, somebody sitting next to me had just put the bag of pretzels, the snack, snacky snacks in the seat. And so we all just laughed and laughed about how, and I kept doing it. Like I had gotten so for an hour in the habit of bouncing and checking that I kept bouncing the, the, <laughs> the pretzels every now and then. Just absentmindedly, my hand would go over there to, you know. Instead of stroking this warm little soft head, it'd be like crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> so the next day, my sister in law walks in. She's like, Oh, would you like to hold a bag of pretzels? <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> my nephew's got his first anti wind nickname Pretzel. Pretzel boy. <laughs> we haven't come up with yet. We've been calling him the bag of pretzels. Oh gosh, it's funny. Funny, fun, fun stuff awaits you around every corner. Just keep looking for it, looking for it, looking for it, and letting it surprise and delight you. Let it delight you when these things happen. And when the little, the little reaching for a little relief or something good, ooh, milk it. Let it delight you, right? Like, let it surprise you. What, let me think of something that would be a simple example. Um, okay, well, let's just go with something very tactical and present. This shirt <coughs> is super soft. It's like a, some kind of washable silk, like very easy. It's like, feels like pajamas, but I don't know. It's super comfortable. And so like when I put it on this morning, I was like, oh boy, that feels so good. And and I could have just been like, ah, and, you know, like a side thought, oh, that feels so good. But instead I was like, oh, it feels so good. Oh, and it's such a pretty color. Mm. And I let just, I let myself be sort of surprised and delighted by the beauty and the softness and the flow of my shirt. I mean, simple stuff, simple, simple stuff the warmth of my toes in my boots. Mm -hmm. um, what are delighting in those little simple things? Just just all those micro doses throughout the day. Every time it's an easy one is holding my nephew. Just, oh. Mm -hmm. And really breathing him in. Vistas, getting outside and seeing a view. Another place to just bask in it. Let it delight your eyes. Let it delight your senses. Let's take three solidarity breaths. See y'all tomorrow.